Right, in this video, we're going to create a UI table view controller with sections in it. We're going to start by creating a new Xcode project, and we'll make it a single view application, and I'll name it Sections. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is delete the view controller because we don't need it. We need a table view controller. And I'll do the same thing in the main storyboard. Then I'll drag out a new navigation controller because it comes with an embedded table view controller. And I'll set the size to 4.7 inch to save us some space. I'll also set the navigation controller to my is initial view controller. The next thing we're going to need is a new class for our table view controller. So I'll hit new file and I will select Cocoa Touch class. And then I'll make a UI table view controller and I'll name it sections. Okay, now that we have our sections table view controller, let's add that as a class in our storyboard. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is set my style to grouped, which isn't necessary, but I like, like the way it looks. And then in our prototype cells, I'm going to set my identifier to section cell and my style to basic. Okay, so next thing we need to do is model what a section actually is. And I'll do that by creating a new file it's going to be a regular Swift file this time, and I'll name it section. So a section is going to be a heading, which is a string, and it's going to be the objects underneath that heading, which is going to be an array of strings. So since it's so simple, I'm just going to create a struct. Name it section, and I'm going to add two properties. One is going to be a heading, and that'll be of type string. And the other one is going to be items, which will be the items array, a string array rather. I'll also create an initializer. So I just created an initializer so we can initialize our section class. Now the next thing we're going to want is data to put out on our tables. And usually you'll get this by pulling data from your NS user defaults or through an HTTP get or an, a database fetch request. In this case, we're just going to keep it simple and code it. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it sections data. New file, it's going to be a Swift file. And sections data. I'm going to fast forward through me keying this all up and I'll explain it when I'm done. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a class called Sections Data, and all it has inside of it is a function that we're going to call. And this function is going to return an array of sections. And inside of it, we're instantiating an array of sections, and then we're creating our dummy data, basically. Now this portion right here, you could replace with an HTTP get or a database fetch, and still return a sections array. So now back in our sections table view controller, we're gonna create a variable named sections, and it's gonna be of type section array. That's gonna call into our sections data, and it's gonna call our get sections from data function. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to use our sections variable to define the number of sections in table view like this. So for every item that is in our sections array, we're just going to count it and create one section. So now for the number of rows in section, we're going to do something similar. We're going to iterate through each one of those items in the array, and then we are going to count how many items are in those sections. So we'll do that like this. So iterating through each item in sections and then counting all of the items in each one to create our number of rows in section. 
And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another table view method called title for header and section, and this will give us our, our headers. And what we're going to do here is iterate through each one of our sections and return just the heading. And so what this does is it iterates through each item in our sections array and it calls the heading property. Now last we're going to use our self array index path. We're going to set our reuse identifier to sections cell. Back when we selected our basic uh, style for our cells, that gave us access to a text label, so we're going to go ahead and use that. And what we're going to do is iterate through each of our sections and iterate through each of the items in those sections to label all of our cells. Okay, so now we should just be able to build and run and see our changes take place. I'm going to set mine to a 6S so that it's not gigantic on the screen. And there we have it. We've got our headers and we've got the items within our headers.